sy stuur daar nie so, Satan is the destroyer. He's behind these things. He's the one who started, he's, he knows exactly how you work. He knows when you fear. You are doing something that God has commanded you not to do. Fear is the exact opposite of faith. There's a lot of peace in true faith. True faith comes from a true heart. True, from a true heart. Say a true heart. A true heart is a pure heart. You know, many times, you know, the Bible says we are liars. Let every man be called a liar, only God be true. How will you be a person of truth? Do you want to be a person of truth? I, 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 I surely want to be a person of truth. I, I will be a person of truth as long as I remain close to Jesus and I'm not allowing anything to come between me and Jesus. The moment something, I allow something between me and Jesus, me, myself, will become a liar too. No matter who it is. The moment I allow something between me and God, I become a liar. And a, lie, a lying a person is not only one who tells lies, but the one who lives a lie. I told the people quite some time ago and tonight up there again about false humility. False humility is the greatest pride there is and the greatest enemy of the Christian and God. False humility is sickening. But true humility is a great thing. It is also something that, that makes our life beautiful. It decorates our lives. True humility decorates our lives. With the beauty of the Lord. False humility, although the person wants to show how humble he is, is exactly equal to pride and of the worst kind of pride. i tell, show you an example. When, when I give you something, I give you something, or I pray for you when you are sick and you get healed, or I give you a gift or a present, and, I, and, 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 um, and, and you say to the person who gives that to you, uh, thank you, and he says, oh, don't thank me, thank the Lord, brother. It's false humility. Sickening. When I say thank you to you, I say thank you to you. I will say my thank you to the Lord. Don't you worry about that. But when I say thank you to you, I give you my thank you. And I give God his honor. Give him a hand. I give you the thank you, but I give God the honor that belongs to him. Because the honor that belongs to God is shared with no man. But you know, to be grateful towards your neighbor is not a bad thing. We need to be grateful. Sometimes you give people something, he does not even say thank you. You say, oh, I say, oh, I asked the Lord for a thank you, Lord, but he doesn't thank you. That's ungrateful, man, and spiritual pride. If I give you something, you thank me. I have given it to you. And then you go to the Lord as well, and you say, God, thank you. I give you honor. Thank you. And you can do it before me, after thanking me. When you give me something, I say thank you. Thank you for your obedience. God bless you. And then you'll always hear me, thank you, Jesus. Amen? When I walk in false humility, and he give me, or I give him something, and he say, thank you to me. I say, oh, don't thank me, brother. Thank God. It's not me. It's the Lord, brother. Say, sickening. That is sick. Spiritual pride. Super spiritual nonsense. Amen? When I pray for you and you get healed, and you come to me and you say, thank you for praying for me. I say, I take your thank you. But I give the honor to Jesus. Give him a hand. <laughs> say to the guy next to you, you receive thank you from people. But you give the honor to Jesus. You give your thank you to people. But you give the honor that belongs to God. You give to him. Oh, brother, don't thank me. Thank the Lord. Don't thank me. It was, it was not me. I had nothing to do with that. Thank the Lord. For sure you had something to do with it. You were involved. You lied to begin with. Oh, I had nothing to do with it, brother. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. For sure you had something to do about it. God used you. 
You were on it. He used you. You were involved. But we give God the honor. I so I give you my thank you, but I give the honor to God in Jesus' name. Because the honor that belonged to him, he shared with no man. Hallelujah. He said to God, to live like that is to live a lie. You walk in false humility. You want to show people how humble you are. And that is equal to the severest kind of pride, which God will reject. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a very grateful person. That's a gift from God. When you give me something, I'm always grateful. No matter what, I'm grateful. And I, and I keep that gratefulness. When someone gives me something, I'll, I'll be grateful for years. I always remember that. And I say thank you in true humility. And I give God the honor. I will do it before I say thank you, brother. Uh, and thank you, Jesus. I give you honor for this man's obedience. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, honor your father and your mother. If he didn't want you to give honor to people, the Bible says, give honor where honor is due. Honor the king. There's an honor that belongs to God, but there's an honor that belongs to the king, which God grant the king. There's an honor which belongs to your father and your mother. Why? Because God created your mother and father in such a way, also as he created you, and God, God, God created you, but he used your mother and father. That's why the, those who, are, who have been used by God, we honor them. There's a certain honor that God grant your parents. And you must give that honor always to them, no matter what they do. Even if your father ends up in jail and you dislike him, you still honor him. Because God used him to create you. That honor, God grant your parents. And it's for you to give that honor to them because God says it belongs to them. Therefore, he says, honor your father and mother so that you might live long in the land I have promised you and have a long life in Jesus' name. There's another.